Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs, the game everybody's going to watch this week, the game everyone's going to be talking about. It is in a small afternoon window, so fortunate for all of us right now. But Bills are two and a half point road favorites over the Chiefs. 54 is your total. So, Adam, I think you and I are on. Uh, no, okay, so it's me and Steven that are on different sides here. I, uh, I bet the Bills, as soon as this thing hit, at two before the Chiefs played on Monday night. Um, it didn't really adjust all that much, a half point, so I didn't like really beat any sort of anything, but I have the Bills at two. This, to me, is a pretty straightforward handicap in which, yes, these are two of the two of the you know three, five best teams in all the NFL, but for me, the Bills offense has marched up and down the field all season long. They have not been, had any sort of resistance, hot knife through butter all season long. We have seen the Chiefs offense sputter at times. Now, have they figured out ways to right the ship? Have they figured out ways to get it done? Last week in particular would be another reason to say that. Yes, Bill's defense is a different animal. The Bill's scheme is a different scheme. This is a very, very, very good team top to bottom all around here. I don't, the reason I'm going Bill's in this is pretty simple. This Bills offense most likely is not going to get stopped very often. And I cannot say the same thing for the Chiefs. I think that there is a path to this game going under this 54 total that it has ballooned up to because I think there's a path for the Bills offense and Bills defense to actually give this Chiefs de- uh, offense a lot of a lot of trouble in this thing. And so uh, I think the Bills are the better team. I think the Bills are the better team even on the road. I um I'm not I'm not upset that I didn't really beat the the line here, beat the number or anything. I'll, I'm happy with my bills minus two. What say you again? This is another game for me where just because your numbers say it don't, doesn't mean you have to bet it. Mm-hmm. I make this game a pick. So when I see that there are two and a half points available to me on the board, I say, well, mm-hmm. maybe Kansas City. And if you believe that the game is going to go under, then you would at least entertain the idea of the teaser, although it's the same as the last game we just talked about. The numbers are far too high to get involved in that. Have the efficiency metrics always led to points for Buffalo this year? That's part of what worries me uh, in this game because you look at a game like Baltimore, a defense that got carved up left and right, and you see a Buffalo team that struggled to get to 23 points. So, Could Kansas City conceivably play a similar game against Buffalo where Josh Allen marches up and down the field and yet it doesn't lead to points? Yes. On the other side of this, you and I were watching a lot of that Monday night football game last week Mm -hmm. with the Kansas City Chiefs, and they were legitimately behind 17 points. That was not a lot of fluke action that led to them being behind. seven. they were legitimately down 17. They need a lot of help from Josh McDaniels to get back into that game. So I'm going to pass. Um, my numbers would say Kansas city, but I respect Buffalo enough and I respect the handicap you're talking about there enough to stay off it. Steven, you're on the other side of me here. What gives you, uh, what gives you Kansas city in the account? That Patrick, I got chiefs plus three at minus 120. I pulled the trigger on it. Really not much more into this than I'm getting Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid at home at a key number and the key, the most key number of all. Uh, We can get into numbers all we want. These two offenses are elite and in their own tier. Um, I think if you look at drop back EPA, the gap between the Chiefs, who are number two, and the number three team, the Eagles, is the same as the gap between the number three team and the number 18 team, the Green Bay Packers. And the Bills are even higher than the Chiefs. So, like, these two quarterbacks are in their own tier. It's going to be amazing offensive football. It should be, again, this one. Uh, I do share the red zone concerns. The Chiefs are third in the NFL in red zone touchdown conversion. The Bills are only 20th, converting only 56% of their red zone trips into touchdowns. So that, in a game like this, that could hurt them. We'll see. Uh, But we also know that red zone offense is pretty volatile and can flip in any given week. So... Um, yeah, not much more for me to handicap here other than just, just taking what I think is the best quarterback and head coach combination in the NFL and, and, and getting them as an underdog at three at, at a juiced minus minus one twenty. I'll tell you this though, must watch television, like as, ex- oh, as excited, wait. yes, as excited for a game that I've been in quite a long time in the regular season. 